Tioga County Historical Society held their first speakeasy event at the McDowell Phillips House. The town's cats and chicks came for a book club meeting, but got a much different experience. Guests were treated to a night of some fun and old-fashioned games, straight out of those roaring 20s. To celebrate the Medina County Historical Society's 100th anniversary, Society President Brian Farron gave a speech thanking its contributors and attendees. All right. Anyway, thank you all, number one, for coming tonight and supporting the Medina County Historical Society. I hope you've had a good time, good food, good drinks, and just a lot of fun, which is what history should be about as well as we educate people. But tonight I'd like to offer a toast to the hundred years of the people that went before us, that educated, maintained, saved, uh, items of our county's history that we now enjoy in our museums, especially uh, the John Spark House, as well as this lovely home, which I hope you've had a chance to enjoy, and come back for a tour during the holidays when it will be fully decked out. You'll get to see the second floor and hear me bore you to death and all the details. But anyway, it's a wonderful facility and a wonderful organization that couldn't happen without hundreds of volunteer hours. Last year, over 7,000 hours volunteer labor. None of us earn a dime and we're just so happy that the community supports us the way they do. I know most of you in the room have been generous benefactors to us. We really appreciate that. If you haven't, checks can always come in the mail to us. <laughs> we never turn any away. Anyway, I'd like to offer a toast to the success of the society and hopefully another hundred years ahead of us. Here, here. Yeah. Yeah. If you know it's good for you, you'll visit www.MedinaCountyHistoricalSociety.com for all the latest Medina County Historical Society updates and events. Just don't go spilling the beans to the fuzz.